Excuse me, aren't you Marjorie Lee Winnick, the current Miss Georgia World? I'm Julia Sugarbaker, Suzanne Sugarbaker's sister. I couldn't help overhearing part of your conversation. Yes, and I gather from your comments that there are a couple of things that you didn't know, Marjorie. For example, you probably didn't know that Suzanne was the only contestant in Georgia pageant history to sweep every category except congeniality, and that is not something the women in my family aspire to anyway. Or that when she walked down the runway in her swimsuit, five contestants quit on the spot. Or that when she emerged from the isolation booth to answer the question, what would you do to prevent war? She spoke so eloquently of patriotism, battlefields, and diamond tiaras. Grown men wept. And you probably didn't know, Marjorie, Suzanne was not just any Miss Georgia. She was the Miss Georgia. She didn't just twirl a baton. That baton was on fire. And when she threw that baton into the air, it flew higher, further, faster than any baton has ever flown before, striking a transformer and showering the darkened arena with sparks. And when it finally did come down, Marjorie, my sister caught that baton as 12,000 people jumped to their feet for 16 and one-half minutes of uninterrupted thunderous ovation as flames illuminated her tear-stained face. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will one day know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia. Designing Women by Pat Dwyer, New York City.